Hey everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, Triangle. It's an hour and 35 minutes long, um, and 6.9 on IMDb, 113, 488,000 people rated it so far. So, uh, it's about a yacht passenger, yacht passengers encounter mysterious weather conditions that force them to jump onto another ship only to have havoc increase, period. Right? Okay. So, those of you who are watching me right now have probably already seen this. I don't know. I mean, 113,000 people, and it only came out in 2000, 2009. Um, and Melissa George is in it, and I recognize that picture. It's a, a UK-based film, and uh, a TikTok. This is where I got this one. From TikTok, there's this guy, and he's like the top 20 mind-bending films. And I, I listen to them, you know what I mean? I log them, and I put them down, and today, I was watching the top five mind-bending films, he says different words than mind-bending, um, on Netflix. And it was all movies I've seen, right? And I forget what the number one movie was, but whatever it was, again, something I've already seen, I've already done a review of, I'm sure it was good, but he said, this is more mind bending again different word than bending um than the movie triangle and i was like huh so let me look and so evidently i had that on my list already so i'm throwing it in let's watch it let's get into it let's find out what it's about i have no idea never heard of it 2009 here we are 2022 right and i've slept on this film so long so those of you who are with me i appreciate it let's get it i'll be back Hey everybody, we're at the credits of Triangle, no check-ins, um, really when it was about the time to check in it was the same thing, so the movie basically sets off as this group of people um, going out on a sailing boat, they get hit with some weather, you know, that's like, I don't know what they said in IMDb, it's just they just get hit with some weather and they get capsized and they get put on what I wouldn't call a yacht, it's like a huge boat, you know what I mean? More like, like, was the Titanic considered a yacht? It's like a Titanic kind of boat. I don't think that's a yacht. Anyway, that's when things really get weird at that point. And, and I don't want to go into greater detail on that point, but that's where you're starting to see, you know, a lot of craziness going on in a sense. Um, and it's funny, it's going to really be hard to talk about because I think the whole idea is not to really know what I know until you watch the entire film. I escaped that one. But uh, I was watching it and I was thinking to myself, I'm just going to take it through my thought process here. I'm like, oh, real quick, Liam Hemsworth is in this. He plays an 18 year old uh, ship guy. I'm like, wow. The reason I bring that up, like, he looks like it's 13 years ago. <laughs> it's so funny because he looks like maybe 18. He doesn't look like he looks like today. And so my mind was going with, okay, it's a 2009 film. And it's probably, you know, I've seen so much over the years. It's probably not as, as good as it was then. Although, let me really step back. This has nothing to do with it, but the movie Memento still holds you know, the I, I watched that a second time. I don't know if I did a review of that or not, but I've seen that now twice. And rarely do I watch a movie twice. I saw that when it first came out, and I saw it just recently. I probably did a review on it. Still, great movie, you know. So, I'm thinking it doesn't got the momentum, momento, uh, um, je ne sais quoi. I don't know. I'm um, sorry for that. But, uh, that's what I'm thinking, and I'm thinking it's, it's you know, okay, I'm watching it, and uh, uh, and it's cool, it's well done, it's well architect, um, you know, there's pieces I'm like, mm, but then they come back and they, they fill that little hole that I had thought, and they're doing things like that, and uh, it gets you to the point, like, okay, you've got my attention now, and now, honestly, because uh, I paused it. And I said, at 34 minutes left to go in the film, I figured this out. And they didn't do anything different that made you, like, don't stop it with 34 minutes, like, and think that there was a clue. 
it just dawned on me. I'm like, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I can't wait to tell everybody this whole point. Well, now I'm embarrassed to say I was wrong. I was wrong. When I thought at the 34 minute point, I was like, I got it. I was like, I, I got this all figured out. I was 100% wrong. Um, and that's cool. And I like that. I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about the whole movie. I mean, I, I like it and stuff like that. And it's just, I get it why people... You know, like why it was watched by a lot of people. Why my man on TikTok, I wish I got his name, but he'll pop up again, had recommended this as the number one. I would not rank this, let me tell you that, as the number one mind-blowing movie of all time for me. Good one. Recommended for those of you who like these kinds of movies, the ones that are really going to surprise you, make you think. Um, but not number one for me, but, well... Well worth the hour and 34 minutes I invested in it. Um, and there was time, well actually, I, and at no point did I think to myself, you know, this isn't worth it. The whole thing was intriguing. Um, I, there was slight moments where I was like, okay, I just want to get forward here a little bit more. Um, but as soon as that thought came in mind, they gave you something else. Um, so. If you haven't, if you're one of the people like me who haven't seen this film, even though it's been out 13 years, I recommend you watch it. If you watch my channel, you know what I like. We probably have very similar taste. This is very interesting. I like it. I, I liked it. I liked being pleasantly surprised. And as much as I don't tell my wife this, I liked being wrong. Because um, I'm wrong all the time, and normally I don't like it. In this case, it worked. You know, I'm, I'm happy I was wrong. Because if I would have been right, I would have been blasting this movie right now. But, um, and it's hard. It's it's all my emotions. Is all you're getting here. You're not getting anything else because I can't say another word about the movie than what I've said because it's all about that. It's all about the element of not knowing what I know. And you should know and you should watch it. So, sorry. That's probably why I don't have thousands and thousands of followers but you checked me out and I appreciate it seven in my book close to an eight that's how much I had fun with it right and you know what you're watching it and I'm more of a six or a seven kind of guy watching it and it all depends on how it ends and then I kind of move forward a little bit into the eight range so I don't know if I'll rate it an eight but you get it I should start doing halfsies. All right, that's it. Um, hopefully it was helpful. I appreciate you watching this long. Thanks for tuning in. Kimmel's Irish Pub.